Andy, it's been 637 days since you've played a home game in Hamilton. What's going to be like coming back to the Hammer? Well, it's exciting, that's for sure. Uh, you know, the fans, they were great last year when we had to track out to Guelph and uh, and that playoff game was was out of this world and, you know, they stuck it out in that weather and uh, so it's it'll be nice, hopefully it's a nice day and um, be nice to be back on familiar turf with, with our fans cheering us on. In Guelph last season, you guys played on a CIS field and you obviously had a ton of success. We're back, it's the 2014 season and you start your first home game on another CIS field at Ron Joy Stadium. Can you talk to the benefits of playing in such an intimate stadium? For us, it's an advantage, if anything. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be rowdy and uh, I've been to MAC games there and in playoff games and I've played in, you know against MAC in college and. Uh, you know, it, it's a fun atmosphere and the, the hecklers are that much closer and, uh, you know, just just the chirping and the, the cheering. So it's, it, you, you can hear specific people talk sometimes and, um, and just like we saw in Guelph, you, you, it's a little bit different than what's the norm in the CFL, but it makes for a fun day. Prepping for game day is in many ways all about routine. How do you prep mentally for a game day? It's a full week thing, really. My goal is to just keep getting better and everything I do and I'm a kind of guy who likes to correct things even even if they're done right I like to make them better and I'm just very particular when it comes to things like that. Day one you, 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 I try to learn all the coverages and learn as much as I can about the other team and and then uh, once we get our plays for the week we start implementing them and kind of referencing them with the looks that we're going to see in the coverages. You definitely don't want to be thinking while you're on the field. You want to play fast and and uh, react and just be confident in what you're supposed to be doing. How has practice been this week? What's the attitude been like? We're still loose. You know, we have a good team. We know we have the pieces we need to to do well, and we just got to get on track. Uh, the last two games could have went either way. I mean, we're not going to say we should have won, but we easily could have won. Uh, but the most important thing is we just got to keep getting better. The Ottawa Red Blacks are coming to town on Saturday. Now this expansion team is one and two. They've obviously got some weapons. What challenges do they bring? You know they're going to be competitive and they have a lot of players who are established in this league. They're great playmakers on their team plus uh, any rookie is eager to make plays and of course they got you know Hank at quarterback and he's a vet in this league and knows how to knows how to produce so it's going to be a challenge. The CFL is all about parity and any team can be in any team so um, you know, we're focused on Ottawa this week, but just got to do what we know we can do and uh, what we're supposed to do. What will it be like running into Hank and playing against your old buddy? Uh, I'm glad to see he's, he's found his, his team and his identity and uh, I'm happy for him there and um, I, I wish him all the success except for, uh, you know, this, this weekend. <laughs> I'll probably sh shoot him a few chirps from the sideline while he's out there, but uh, it's all in good fun. and. You know, I hope he stays healthy and plays well, but, um, but I mean, I hope we have some success against them also. Thanks so much, Andy. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. This is Brian Bulky, and you're watching Ticats TV.